Understanding, Steel Mill. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving into the world of industry and vocabulary to understand the phrase, steel mill. If you've ever come across this term and wondered what it meant, you're in for a treat. Let's get started. Steel mill is a compound noun that consists of two words, steel and mill. Steel, it is a hard, strong, gray or bluish gray alloy of iron with carbon and usually other elements, used extensively as a structural and fabricating material. Mill, a building or group of buildings used for processing raw materials and producing a product, usually with machinery. When you combine these two, steel mill refers to a place where steel is produced. A steel mill is not just any ordinary place. It plays a significant role in our daily lives. Here's why. 1. Production of steel. As the name suggests, a steel mill's primary purpose is to convert raw iron and other materials into steel. 2. Variety of steel products. Steel mills can produce a wide range of steel products such as sheets, rods, and beams. These products are then used in many sectors including construction, automotive, and even household items. 3. Employment. Steel mills are major employers. They provide jobs to thousands of people including engineers, technicians, and laborers. Steel mills are typically found in industrial areas due to their size and the need for easy transportation of raw materials and finished products. Many countries around the world have steel mills, with some being known for their massive production capabilities. For example, China is the world's largest steel producer. United States has several large steel mills located in places like Pittsburgh and Gary. Other countries with significant steel production include India, Japan, and Russia. So, there you have it. The term, steel mill, refers to an industrial facility where steel is produced, shaping the backbone of many modern industries and economies. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of this important phrase. Happy learning, and until next time,